Hello, welcome to VidTech, Dylan here, and in today's video, I'm going to find out to see if the ThinkPad can run Windows Vista and Windows 7. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've got the ThinkPad, it's upside down. The hard drive on the right is the compact flash card that I mentioned in the Windows 2000 video, and on the left, this is just a 20 gigabyte IDE hard drive. This has the caddy in it, as you can see, so... Let's just get this guy in. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to select this CD drive. Press any key. Oh, this this is a good sign. This is a good sign. And as y'all can see, this setup screen pops up. This computer does meet this the requirements for Vista, the minimum ones. So I don't see why this wouldn't work, but nonetheless, this is a great sign. I'm just going to Select English, and let's install it. After a while, this screen pops up. So yes, of course I accept the terms. We're just gonna do a clean install. Okay, so the total size of this hard drive, as you can see, is 18.6 gigabytes. Now, Windows Vista requires a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Now, this might work, but there's only one way to find out. And I'll just wait a while. <laughs> All right, so after waiting a while for the installation, I got this screen now. This is great news, because that means that Windows Vista will work on this ThinkPad. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't work at this point. So, my profile picture. I'm going to pick the robot, because why not? I'm just gonna put my name. We'll just call, actually I have another computer called that, so let's just call this, yeah. And I'm just gonna leave it misspelled. Um, just use recommended settings. Why not? Um, let's just leave that as it is, because once again, it's not like I'm gonna be using this. And here it is. So this is Windows Vista running on the ThinkPad. And if I'm, I'm gonna move the mouse here, let's just click the start button. It responded quickly without much lag. This is a good sign. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Internet Explorer. Don't, I wouldn't recommend it today, obviously. But I just want to see if Wi-Fi will work. As y'all can see, we've got a Wi-Fi card in here in the PC MCIA slot. And we've got Wi-Fi on this thing, which is a great sign. And if we go to my computer, we've got 12 gigabytes left on this thing, which it's kind of unexpected if you ask me because apparently you needed a 20 gigabyte hard drive yet there's 12 gigabytes free and as y'all can see this is a thinkpad with windows vista now something i want to try from here is to see if i can get windows 7 running on this thing y'all are probably thinking well windows 7 requires one gigabyte of ram for the 32-bit edition that's true i've heard stories of people who got windows 7 to run on less than a gigabyte of RAM. And today I'm going to test my luck with this computer. And so as y'all can see, the installation for Windows 7 is pretty similar to the one for Vista. I'm gonna install a clean copy just to make use of all the disk space. And just like with the Vista installation, I'm just gonna just wait. Hopefully this goes well. All right, so here we are. So for name, I'm just gonna put VidTech. Because, I mean, that is the name of our channel. So I'm going to leave the clock as is. And I'll catch y'all if this works. Well, what do you know? This ThinkPad can run Windows 7, even with 512 megabytes of RAM. This is crazy. I'm going to install some of the drivers, and then I'm going to test some stuff on here, just to see how well it works. Well, with this computer, there isn't a whole lot to test, since, I mean, it's Windows 7 which is still a usable operating system today, but I can test to see how good the internet is. And MSN loaded, so that means the internet works on this computer. And other than internet, I don't really know what to test on this ThinkPad, but... But one thing I can say is, <laughs> I'm pretty surprised that Windows 7 runs on this thing. I mean, this thing has 512 megabytes of RAM, and Windows 7 will still run. I mean, sure, it's slow, but it runs. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and 
If you like this, please like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. But for now, this is Dylan signing off. Have a good one. So now that we're done with this video... Thank you.